welcome to our tour bus. What up guys? Um, my name is Lonnie. I'm Thomas. We're Cardi Knox, and right now we're on the Boys and Poison tour in Chicago. Uh, we're going to give you a little tour of the bus here. We're going to start in the front lounge uh, with our you entertainment here. center here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we've got a little, uh, got a little candy stash, Boo Radley kind of stash there. You take it, you have to put some in. <laughs> Um, we've got N64, which has been the most popular item so far. We've been doing a lot of Mario Tennis. My character is Birdo, which is not a uh, popular choice, but I've <laughs> put my I've, eggs I've, in his basket. I've not played yet, but I think I want to be the princess. Um, yeah. Princess she looks Peach. badass. She's good. So yeah. N64 was brought on by Phoebe Ryan. Um, she had it at home, I guess, and went and got all these controllers and everything so everybody could play. So yeah, we've got Mario Tennis, we've got Smash Brothers. We've got Pokemon Stadium, which I've never played before, and I think that's it. Maybe we have another one somewhere. I think she has Mario 64, too, but um, yeah, it's been a good time, so. It's a good time had by all. We also uh, have, a, we have a television right here. Yeah? Yep. Got yeah, direct TV. I don't think anybody's watched nobody's any watched TV anything. yet. We've only, been listening, we've only been playing Mario uh, Tennis. But. You have your, your dining area, living room and dining area. You chill, eat. It's our kitchen. Um, which is awesome. We have two little fridges and coffee, which is very important to on the road. We have all sorts of different coffee you can do pour over. Um, there's instant. Our tour manager <laughs> has a badass AeroPress um, and he, he like, grinds, grinds his own so. beans, like yeah. hand grinds every morning. He's a good man and he makes me coffee most mornings. Shout out to you, Trox. Come on up. Um, Got our little fridges here some leftovers and we really need to uh, fill it up with more stuff. We're, yeah. we're uh, heavy LaCroix consumers. And, uh, usually this is not a sponsored post. Usually they're filled with LaCroix, but right now they're all gone. So, uh, um, yeah, space go is a premium. Space is a definite premium on the bus. So there's all these hidden compartments and there are drawers that hold shoes. Like here's some show shoes. Those are my running shoes. Don't look too close because they're pretty worn. Um, some running <laughs> shoes. You got all sorts of uh, goodies down here. Fiber. Here's oh, these are fiber. my shoes. And there's some random change. Yes. There you go. Here's our all our information we need to survive on the bus. We got our Wi-Fi passwords, our Direct TV info. And this is our day sheet that the tour manager puts out every day. It has the venue and then our whole schedule for the day, from when we load in to sound check to our set time to the curfew and bus call and our hotel room. And uh, yeah, just keeps us on track for the day. Pretty important. It's like wrangling a bunch of sheep, I suppose. This is, uh, this is our bathroom. The number one rule of tour is don't poop on the bus. So, uh, there's a reminder. <laughs> in here, no pooping, please. Yes. Uh, no solids in the toilet. So ladies, you have to throw away your toilet paper. It's tough being a lady on the road. Yes. Um, and at least we have running water, though. And this bathroom, actually, of all the tour buses I've been on, is the most female-friendly because there's actually vanity lights, and it's well lit enough to do your makeup. So, thanks to the bus company for that. And uh, then we're moving into the bunk area, which we keep at a steaming 40 degrees. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's 68. Yeah, you got to keep it really cold in the bus to uh, eliminate bacteria. So people don't get sick. Nobody gets sick. Sometimes people still get sick, and you're just cold, but when you get so there's 12 bunks, this or, is Lonnie's bunk, this is my bunk. I refer to it as a comfortable coffin. It's like, it's very private. Um, you really can shut the world out. I mean, this is, everybody has obviously their own little curtain. And uh, we brought some more of our own swag, some uh, little home goods. Yeah, if you've ever slept in a bedroom that doesn't have a window and you can just like, you wake up and you're like, oh my god, what day is it, what time is it, like that's kind of how it is when you wake up in here yeah. because you have no idea where, when, what you are anymore and how long you've been out. <laughs> so, it's kind of good. I actually sleep really well in there. Yeah, it's like too. a little womb that you're in. Um, we've got a little uh, closet here with some hangables, some of our some show, show attire, our fancy little, jackets. Uh, Sparkle too. I have a yoga. Actually, this is something. This is a big tour item for me. Um, is my yoga mat and like a rolling ball to roll out your muscles. I basically take this into the uh, into the 
Nepal every day and lay on the floor and do yoga. Um, it's kind of gross, but uh, you gotta, gotta stretch the muscles. Because most of the sound guys at these venues are like, you're laying on that floor. I've uh -huh. never seen anyone on the floor. And I'm like, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Put your yoga on. And then we're back here in the back lounge, which is actually a pretty sizable back lounge. Yeah. Compared to other buses I've been on. Got a nice another table here to sit at and eat or do work or whatever. Another TV with direct TV and all that. We've got a little cooler with waters and beer, whatever. A bunch more hidden drawers with random shoes. More we have closet space, which is also really nice. Back here. Random stuff, hanging space. It's always just you always you real you need more space than you realize you do. So it's nice to have places to put. The more stuff. you can like declutter, the, the better. better. So the more you can just even if it's not organized in here, it's just like the more that it can just be out of the way of everything because it's you know twelve people living in a two hundred square, square foot, foot apartment. Apartment. It's got this phone. This goes right to the Oval Office. <laughs> yep. What's up, Bo? Yep. Cool. I, I approve. I don't know where that goes. We have no idea. <laughs> so uh, there's also these doors here, and uh, it feels like a spaceship. They don't, they, you can't pull them. You gotta hit this button and then they close. This one's kind of janky, so I'm gonna hit it now, and in about 30 seconds it'll be closed. Um, but in the meantime, uh, again, <laughs> our name is Cardi Knox, and we just put out our debut album. It's Portrait. Check it out. Our single is Wild Child. We just released a music the video. video. Just came out. It's Check really it out. good. Check Thanks it out. Thanks for checking out our bus. Thanks for hanging. Bye.